If there is a hundred vendors at a craft show, how do you make your booth stand out? What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. This week we're going to be doing some peacocking at the craft show. <laughs> Shaking our tail feathers, getting noticed. This was actually a request from one of our top tier patrons in our super secret top tier patron Facebook group. She posted out there that she had seen this at a craft show and could we make a version of this. It's like one of those hanging like retro style signs. Storefront signs, yeah. yeah. Storefront sign. And we are in the thick of craft show season. We've got no design time. A lot of ideas, but no time. So we're going to try to make the easiest one that we've seen out there. Yeah, we've got some ideas already in the works for some others that are maybe a little more artistic versions of this hanging storefront sign. But those will wait till the spring. We'll do that video right before craft show season starts in the spring. But for now, this is something you can do in an hour to add some bling, some peacock, some peacock, peacock into your craft booth. I'm hoping it doesn't even take an hour. I have things to do. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. For this version, we're gonna use some half inch copper pipe. I have two sections, a 10 foot section and a five foot section. We think this will be strong enough, rigid enough that when we hang our sign, it won't flex too much. And it'll be durable enough that we can travel with it and it won't get messed up as we take it to show after show. And as it ages, it will only look more beautiful with that poppin' patina. We're gonna use these corner brackets that are just pressing because I'm not a plumber <laughs> and she's not a coppersmith. I'm not so a coppersmith. These will just slide in and should be permanent. We're going to cut our pipe with this pipe cutter. We just run it around the thing until it pops off apparently. And then we're going to use these Velcro straps. This is how we're going to hang our sign. We're actually going to attach it at the top and bottom of the pole. We have a little copper oh. like end cap. Yeah. We're going to put this on the end so that this won't gather any dust or debris or rocks, gravel for outdoor shows. And then finally, we have this uh, shark bite tea thing. We're gonna use this to make this thing a little versatile so we can use it indoors or outdoors. I think that is it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna start cutting down our pipe and um, I'm not gonna try to saw a straight line so we're gonna use this little pipe cutter. We're just gonna put it on and run it around until the pipe breaks apart, I think. That's the plan. That's the plan. We're going to start by cutting a 62 inch section out of this. This will be our long pole for when we're outdoors. But then we'll cut a 25 and then two 14s and then a 25 and a 12 out of the shorter one. Which we'll will leave me we'll show you. 23 inches of slack for mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. All right. Let's do it. Ooh, do we have a Sharpie? Oh, it's gonna be say, do you need a Sharpie? That's so funny. Yeah. I don't, but I have this nice teal pen. This is, oh, that, this is close. It might get confusing with the patina. Go ahead. What did you say, 62? 62. Mark me. There you go, marked. Right. You are marked. Those are our 225s. Those are going to be the top and the bottom. This is going to be the sides. Wow, yeah. those seem short. Hope we got that measured correctly. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks yeah. good. That looks good. That's yeah. big. Okay. All right. Step three. Time to bring it all together with some pressing. We're going to press it into these fittings right here. And uh, I'm sure that's pretty easy too. Oh, that was super easy. This might be one of the easiest assemblies of all time. Does it come no, back out? It I'm comes just, back out. 
Do you have to press it with something? I don't know. You have to turn it. I was it. afraid of, I thought they were permanent. Hmm. I bet you have to crimp them. Which is a crimping tool. Well, that's even better. Then I can really take it apart and disassemble will, will it. Stay together. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, look, it's wobbly. I don't think she's got it. Mm. Do I have to hammer them in? Do I have to crimp it? Be right back. <laughs> so we googled it and it looks like we need a crimping tool to crimp these things. I thought they'd just be like push, push and play. But I'm going to try some vice grips and if those don't work, some uh, big pliers. I don't know what these are called. Channel locks. Let's see if the vice grips work. I'm going to crimp it on this. So thing. there is a whole tool that we can purchase, but... I'm hoping not to have to purchase that tool. All right. For what we're doing, right? Yeah, for what we're doing. I don't. I'm not purchasing. I thought this was gonna be cheap. Well, gotta keep it cheap. <clears throat> Kinda. Okay. Take the fight. Do all four sides. What did you get? How did you get your finger? I was, it slipped underneath the things. It worked though. All right. Okay. All right. Well, one I mean, business. This is cr crimped is all we need for what we're doing. It doesn't have to yeah. hold water. It doesn't have to hold water exactly. All right. Let's try it without busting my hands up. This is how we do things around here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we sometimes wing it. Well, I mean, if you can't fix it with a hammer, or some vice, vice grips, grips. <laughs> or duct tape, it's beyond uh, beyond repair. <laughs> it's just beyond repair. Okay, plan B. What if I just smack it with a hammer? Just smack it with a hammer. No. You don't think so? Hmm. I think we should try it. Okay. <laughs> Be right back. Make sure they're pushed in. Everything's pushed together. Yeah, because I definitely wasn't playing with it while you were gone. I mean, if it's windy, we're in trouble. For plan D, we're going to try some JB Weld. We're going to take it apart, mix up the JB Weld, stick it up in the hole, and then try to fit it back in. But now some of them are kind of stuck. We got this. Now we know what not to do. Now you know what not to do. Right. Don't try to crimp it unless you have the tool. Mm -hmm. These are crimp things. Don't try to hammer it if you don't have a crimper. Sucker together. Wait, I, I think we should. Okay. What? Have a paper towel ready. Me... Do you need some gloves? Do you think you should put some gloves on? I don't plan on touching it. <laughs> well, that I guessed. You're supposed 
supposed to see in the ends. I don't think that's a good. I don't think that's good. I wasn't planning on touching it. Mm, hey, hold that. Uh, hold that two by four down now. Give it a whack. Plan D, the JB Weld. That worked. That did the trick. Yes, it's nice and sturdy now. It's not bendy. It's great. This is great. It's now like it's good to take, what is, what is it? 24 to 48 to fully cure? No, 4 to 6. Oh, right, right, right. 4, yeah, four to, to six. 6 hours. Fully yeah. cured. Okay, so, so now we have this morning. super long tail that we're going to trim down to 15 inches. This should just give us enough to zip tie to the tent. It's twofold. One, I don't want to carry a very long pole with me every time we go somewhere. I don't want to have to, if we're having to walk across a park, carry oh, yeah. this giant flag with me. I don't want to. I don't want to be marching down the street with it, <laughs> bring it to my show, and then suddenly have a pack of Cub Scouts follow me. <laughs> it's the last thing I need. So the plan is, this piece, the short pole and the sign post, will go in a wagon with the signs and be great. I think we should be we, we will be able to carry that no problem, and we'll be able to use this shark bite, which he's cutting this off. Oh, good. We can show that right just in now. Time. Yeah, just in time. Oh, it's not fully cured yet. Twist it a little bit. Now, we're going to use the shark bite here because this is removable, so I'll be able to take it on and off. But you said I need a tool that I yeah, didn't get. Yeah, did you get. happen to get the tool? No, I didn't know I needed a tool. Okay, so it's not currently removable. And it's a T because we had we had debates on how we were going to do this. Yeah, we thought we might put the T here, but then I wasn't sure if the leaning... All right, what am I doing? I think you just really push it on there. All right. That's it. Now, do you want to put this bottom on now and show them? Well, you get the gist. So the idea is that we're going to put this pole on here, and now with the, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> with that on there, that should be the bottom of the canvas of the tent. Right. This is the end of the legs at the canvas. That's right. This is going to stick out into the aisle, and the, oh, what are we doing here? I almost got it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're jamming it on there. I'll be able to zip tie the whole pole to the tent poles, the tent legs. So I'll be able to zip tie this or Velcro it, right? I think we're going to use yeah, the Velcro use straps. Velcro. We'll be able to Velcro this to the pole. We'll also we'll be able to... this to the pole so we won't be relying this, on this piece. Right. All the weight is not going to be there. We're going to zip uh, Velcro it up here, Velcro it down below, and then we'll be able to use this on the tent as well as an indoor show we'll be able to velcro this to the pegboard standards that we have so yeah i think now i guess what i can let you go for your next step sorry i was about to take your thunder step four time to make the sign <laughs> we're going to take some quarter inch mdf over to the laser and cut out our logo and our little frame to go with it now this sign has to be double sided because you'll be able to see this from any direction because it'll be sitting out into the aisle. So this will be the first time we've created a double sided sign. So we cut out the logo on the first half and I tried to leave the board where it was and flip just the piece, but it really didn't fit. But I scored that side anyway. I scored both sides. And we're using our Foxy Hughes paints. This is outdoor acrylic paint. So this is UV resistant, weather resistant, and we'll be able to hang that and it'll be fine hanging on our booth indoors or out. And we use Starbond Thick to hold everything together because we knew it would be outside. We knew we wanted something water resistant and that would be able to fill in all the cracks 
and hold that sucker for a couple of years or until I break it. Step five, we're gonna attach the sign. We got our double-sided sign. Looks the same on both sides. Look at that, I think it looks cool. We catch haven't done one like this before. Catch you coming and going. It doesn't <laughs> seem too heavy, I think we're okay. All right, we're gonna use some Velcro straps to now secure the sign in between the top and bottom piece. Right. All right, there. I have cut them, but these are too long, so we'll just, let's just see. We'll do it on the fly. Yeah, what do we need? I don't know what we need. I guess we have to just eyeball center. All right, all right now. All right, you ready to pick it up? Let's I see. am. All right. Oh, there we go. Looks ah, pretty look center. That. It's cute. Yeah. All right, here. Let's. What do you think? I like it. I can see it in the monitor over there. Yeah. I don't know if it was up high. Think it would catch your eye? Yeah, I think it would. I don't have to hold it up that high. I do. I gotta see it. I gotta visualize. <laughs> I think it's all right. I'm happy with that. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. That is the best way to support this channel. And big thanks to you for sticking with us through yes. all of our backup plans <laughs> to try to get these pipes to stick together. Well, we uh, learned some things. We, we all learned some it. things. Yep. And don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help us in the algorithm. And if you're not yet subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified of the new videos each week. All right, we're about out of time. I gotta go get some work done. You gotta stop fooling around. <laughs> and we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And this is a good one. Oh no. Yeah. Oh well, no. We're going this way. Oh, oh Ooh. wow. Ooh. You really, no way. Yeah. No mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And we're doing it. And we're in. Oh my gosh. In. I really am in. surprised you could balance that. <laughs> you guys wanna see the logo? Yeah, there's the logo. All right, let's let it cure. <laughs>